Hey, what's up guys? I hope everyone is having a great day. And if you're not, well, I'm sure you can't be having a worse day than this guy. Shit! <laughs> so today's video is for all my Pokemon fans out there. If you do like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. So today I am going to be showing you guys all the confirmed Pokemon so far in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So let's get started. So first off, we have the starter Pokemons. And let's begin with Rowlet. Rowlet is a grass and flying type Pokemon. If you do pick Rowlet as your starter, he does start off with the moves Peck and Leaf Age. Which is pretty cool since most of our starters start out with tackle scratch or pound so fun fact Rowlet has a habit of turning its head around while facing its trainer during battle so moving on to the second starter Pokemon which is gonna be Litten the fire type Pokemon so Litten is pretty much the crowd favorite since it's a fire type and get this he uses flaming hair boss to attack so whenever he sheds his fur he just lights up in fire. That's some craziness. Are you gonna pick Litten? I wanna know in the comments below, guys, if you're gonna pick Rowlet, Litten, or Poplio, which is the water starter Pokemon. So, the way Poplio attacks, he basically makes a huge ball of water and just launches it. Fun fact about Poplio he can make balloons made out of water from his nose. Hmm, are you gonna pick Pop Leo? So moving on to the next Pokemon is gonna be Rockruff. And he is a rock type Pokemon. Now Rockruff, no matter how much he gets beaten up, he'll keep on standing until he beats his enemies. If that's not determination, I don't know what is. So fun fact about Rockruff, when he is about to evolve, he actually leaves his trainer and returns once he's like fully evolved. And moving on will be Komala. Now in my opinion, Komala is one of the cutest Pokemons that I've seen so far. Komala is a normal type Pokemon and is known as the half awake Pokemon. So rumors have it that nobody has ever seen a Komala awake before. So this Kumala battles sound asleep. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so fun fact about Kumala, he holds on to this log pillow that he got from his parents and almost never releases it. Because when he does, he goes on a complete rampage. And next we have the Pokemon Picky Peck. Now Picky Peck is a normal and flying type Pokemon. Picky Peck is a woodpecker Pokemon. Now Picky Peck can strike 16 times in one second with its beak. Now I'm really, really looking forward to Picky Peck's evolution. Now Picky Peck is so powerful that he can drill through not only hard wood, but even shatter stones. Now Picky Peck usually finds shiny stuff and just puts it in its burrow. So, if you're ever looking for anything lost, make sure to check a Picky Peck's burrow first. So next up is Young Goose. Young Goose is a big eater that is never satisfied. The majority of its long body is given to its stomach and its digestion is swift. Like this guy can eat a whole meal and just like be hungry again in like 5 minutes. So fun fact on Young Goose. He is not a Pokemon that is native to a Lola region, which means he was not born in the Lola region. So it turns out that this Pokemon was brought to this region to help deal with like an explosive population of certain other Pokemons. So he would chase them away. But now you can pretty much encounter a Young Goose anywhere in the Lola region. Now if you thought Young Goose was awesome, get a load of his evolution, Gumshoes. Now Gumshoes is a stakeout Pokemon, which means he will hunt his prey, doesn't matter if he's starving, he will hunt his prey until he gets it. Whenever he is in a stakeout, he's able to stay perfectly still 
while waiting for its prey, keeping a watch without eating one single thing. So next up we have Grubbin, the larva Pokemon. Grubbin is a bug type Pokemon that relies on its sturdy jaw as a weapon in battle. So fun fact about Grubbin, he loves electricity and can be usually found near power plants. Hmm, is his next evolution going to be an electric type? Hmm. Next up we have Drampa, the dragon grandpa Pokemon is what I would call it. So Drampa is a normal dragon type Pokemon and Drampas are dragons that live alone on the mountains. So this is one of the friendliest Pokemon that you will encounter in the Alola region because Drampas love communicating with people and Pokemon. Now Drampa are especially gentle with children and are often seen at schools and places like that. Heck, I think this is one of the Pokemon that my grandpa would actually have. Next we have Cutie Fly. This is the cutest fly Pokemon you would ever see. So yeah, think about it that way. Now Cutie Fly is a bug and fairy type Pokemon. And Cutie Fly can detect auras of living people, uh, Pokemon, plants. They search out flowers by the color of their brightness and auras. Now they gather nectar and pollen. Okay, so the fun thing about Cutie Fly is that whenever they can sense like any danger and stuff like that, they sense emotions. So if you're ever sad, you can expect the Cutie Fly to be flying around about. Next up is going to be Brooksish. Now Brooksish is interesting because he is a water and psychic type Pokemon. So Brooksish grinds its teeth in order to use its psychic powers and once his opponents hear these like powers he they usually just get headaches so that's that's its psychic ability and on to the next pokemon we have charger bug well charger bug is a electric bug type pokemon and he is known as a battery pokemon so f looking at charge bug first i thought ah oh, maybe this guy is just gonna be like another Dunsparce. But that's not the case since Chargebug is electric and Chargebug does evolve. And when it does evolve, it becomes this amazing Pokemon, Vika Bolt. Now, Vika Bolt is one of the coolest looking bug type Pokemons on here. Because Vika Bolt is like a fortress that zooms through the forest. So this guy is like super fast and can even go toe to toe with ninjas on speed. A fun fact about Vika Volt, he usually swoops down, catches Charger Bug, and just carries it around and uses it uses it as a battery. That way he can like power up his attacks, he could power up his speed, and you know he's pretty I mean pretty fast. So last but not least, I am gonna show you guys the two legendary Pokemons that have been officially confirmed for Sun and Moon. First off will be Solgaleo, and I mean, just look at this Pokemon, it's just amazing. So we don't know much about Solgaleo yet, but we do know that he is going to be the main Pokemon for Pokemon Sun, and we do also know that he has a second form which resembles the Sun. And I actually do have an image of him transforming into second form. Apparently it uses this second form when he uses a certain type of move. So, oh my god, I can't wait to see this Pokemon action. So, Soul Galio is a psychic type and steel type Pokemon. And he is nicknamed the beast that devours the sun. Oh my god. Now moving on to Pokemon Moon's second legendary which is going to be Lunala. Now Lunala is a psychic ghost type Pokemon and oh my god, just look at him. Oh my god, I can't even control myself right now. So Lunala is known as the beast that caused the moon. So Lunala also has a second form, which I'm going to show you right now. And he can obtain this form while using a certain type of move. Lunala is actually a ghost and psychic type pokemon is the first one we have seen so this will be an epic fight between the two legendaries so now i want you guys to comment down below who you guys 
like who you guys think is your favorite Pokemon and who your starter is going to be. And that's going to wrap up today's video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. So, I am going to be doing a part 2 to this. So, stay tuned for more updates. Make sure to hit that subscribe button again. And share it if you can. So, peace.